Hello all, welcome to today's video. Today we will be discussing uh, one of the most commonly asked interview problems on binary tree. Well, I will be taking uh, one of the problems from the lead code. It is to calculate the diameter of a binary tree. We might have already, uh, most of us might have already solved this particular problem. I am going to uh, focus particularly on how to arrive at how to solve these kind of problems what should be the thinking behind solving this particular problem or how to think through the solution that we will be discussing uh, today using a whiteboard for so the problem is basically to calculate the diameter of a boundary tree diameter of a boundary tree is the length of the longest path between any two nodes in a tree and the path may or may not pass through the root node of the particular tree. That is the main point to note here. Therefore, the length of the path between two nodes is the number of edges between them. I guess this is self-explanatory, these things. Therefore, I am not going to detail here. Therefore, here we will take one of the examples and try to see how they have arrived at the solution. Here, the binary tree the root node of the binary tree is 1 and there are 5 nodes in this particular binary, binary tree. Therefore, here the uh, they have calculated the diameter as 3. So, how the 3 came as a diameter? So, diameter of this binary tree will be the path connecting the nodes 4 and 3 or it can be that path connecting the nodes 5 and 3. By just looking at this particular tree, we will be able to see the longest path will be formed between the nodes 4 and 3 or it can be between 5 and 3 because 4, it has to go through 2 and then 2, 2, 1 and then 1, 2, 3. Therefore, there are 3 connections, 3 edges in this particular path and similarly, the nodes for the path connecting nodes 5 and 3 there are three edges that's why we call the diameter as three now let's take a take this particular example and try to figure out how this can be solved or what should be our thinking or how should we think through uh, so, uh, to solve this particular problem with the help of a whiteboard we'll try to understand first let's try to the first thing to uh, note here is we have to, one such a problem is there we have to take a smallest example as possible. Just start with one, only one node in a binary tree and try to think what will be the answer of the tree, uh, answer of the particular problem statement. And then expand your examples to complex binary trees. Therefore, that should be the uh, thinking. We should actually start with a small problem statement or we should take smallest example as possible for this particular problem statement for this particular problem statement uh, we start with only one node as you can see in this particular whiteboard we start with only one node we focus just on only one node the root node that will try to find out the solution for a problem statement involving a binary tree with only one node for binary tree with only one node the diameter will be of course zero because there is no edges which is starting from a particular node there are no edges in the tree Therefore, similarly the similar uh, the diameter the path is not there the diameter will be obviously zero then we try to expand our example or increase our focus area to much bigger tree because we'll try to focus on this particular tree which involves three nodes one two and three we'll try to see how to get the diameter of this particular tree so for this particular uh, node two and three two and three are the leaf node in our example and there is no path which is starting from node two because there are leaf node with a path as similar to our first example the path or the diameter of the path starting from node 2 will be 0 and the path starting from node 3 will be 0 for the then we will come to the node 1 for each node 
in this uh, we will try to calculate the path for each node in the tree since the path may or may not contain the root node we have to store uh, we have to update the variable we have to store that variable uh, for each node that we encounter we try to calculate the maximum path which is possible including that particular node and we try to maximize the variable that is our that is our logic for for this particular example involving three nodes one two and three the path involving node one will be the formula will be path will be equal to the left path left path length plus the right path length in our case the left path length is only one which is the path connecting one and two the right path length is also one which is a path connecting one and three therefore the total path length will be two for this example one two and three then we will try to our diameter will be two obviously two because this is the large longest path which we found till now for this particular example then we will try to expand our example to a much larger tree which is the final tree in our uh, example which is the nodes which involves nodes 4 and 5 so we will try to see if there are additional nodes which is starting from node 2 which is the child nodes of 4 and 5 the child nodes of node 2 therefore we have to calculate the path of this particular subtree so the path of this subtree will be path will be equal to same formula left path length plus right path length is equal to one plus one the path connecting two and four or the path and the path connecting two and five which is one plus one which is equal to Therefore, the diameter of the path have it for the tree involving nodes 2, 4, 5 is 2. We will try to store it in the variable and we will try to maximize the variable that stores this particular result that we got in a variable called dia. And we will try to maximize this particular variable throughout our solution. And then uh, that's it. We got the path for this particular submission. Now comes the important part. For since we calculated the path for this particular node, how it will it contribute to the parent tree? That's what we have to understand. For so the parent tree can actually form a path like this. Parent tree can form a path with the tree, the child tree two four five. In the following ways the path can be from 4 2 1 and 3 or the path can be from 5 2 1 and 3 therefore these are the two paths which are possible which can be formed from the child tree the subtree of this uh, main tree so these are the two paths which are possible the paths which are in focus are 4 and 2 and 5 and 2. Well, essentially, this can be generalized to a uh, large tree also. Therefore, there comes the formula. Therefore, for each node that we are calculating, for each node, node in the B tree, for each node in the B tree, will return the largest return the largest path among left or right side paths. So this I guess everyone is able to understand for each node in the B tree 
each node each node in the B tree I guess I just refresh refresh it a bit I'll just try to edit that each node in the B tree will return the largest path among left or right child path to the parent why we are returning this to calculate the longest path which can be formed in that entire tree to help in that cal calculation we have each node in the B tree will return this particular value then we will try to calculate the longest path possible in the entire tree which involves all the five nodes so for this uh, try to erase some of the drawings so that it will not be too much confusing Yes. Let me bring back the diagram. So that's it. Therefore, here the total path or the final path length or the diameter will be involving a path involving the node 1 or the root node will be the same formula path length path plus right path length which in our case will be 1 plus which is the path from 1 to 2 path connecting 1 and 2 nodes and then the value returned by node 2 which is coming from the child nodes as we have already discussed it will return the largest among left or the right path so for our cases both of left path and right path are both 1 we will get 1 that plus now the right path comes the right this particular guy comes this particular guy comes now now we have done we are done with this particular Guy. No, this particular part we will try to focus on Therefore, the final path or the dia is equal to left path plus right path, which in our case is 1 plus 1, which is coming from the uh, child node, child nodes of 2, and plus the right path. The right path will be the path connecting 1 and 3 which is again 1 therefore the total value will be 3 so previously we have already calculated that dia variable dia value is equal to 2 now dia parameter will change it to 3 therefore that's how we will update this particular variable now coming back to the therefore for coming back to our code what we will see here is uh, I have already written a solution in C++ for this particular guy for the same that we have already discussed. We calculate for each of the node in the tree, we will calculate the left path length and the right path length in a recursive manner by calling the same function again and again for the left side as well as the right side. Once we get the left path length and the right path length, we will calculate the diameter. We will try to maximize this particular diameter as stored as a member variable. We will try to maximize this particular diameter value as uh, maximum dia or left plus right. The same 
formula that we have discussed and then for each node we'll turn maximum of left or right path length to the parent node so that we can calculate the overall maximum path length for the tech directory so that's how we get that particular answer just run the code just try to see if it is working yeah let's get some passing hopefully it is working yeah thanks all thanks for joining the session and hope it was useful and do share your comments and thoughts in the comment section below and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos like this and do share the videos with your friends and colleagues thank you and have a nice day